Is gravy on a pancake a big mistake? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, we're pouring everything, including maybe the kitchen sink, over pancakes to find the next best thing to that sweet, sweet syrup in the name of discovery. And today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Yeah, with HelloFresh, you get mouthwatering seasonal recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. Now, did y'all know that the average trip to the grocery store is 41, 41 minutes? 41 minutes. 41 minutes. I was gonna say that. And if you ever get stuck debating between buying chickpeas or garbanzo beans like I often do, you know, it could sometimes be a little bit longer than that. But HelloFresh delivers everything you need to make chef curated meals, which means I can spend more time with my family debating the difference between chickpeas and garbanzo beans. Well, the only difference between chickpeas and garbanzo beans is that it's more fun to say garbanzo. 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 Speaking of fun, uh, my kids actually love helping out when it comes to making HelloFresh meals, and HelloFresh also has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit, so you know you'll get something delicious like these scrumptious beef bulgogi meatballs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get in on this You know action. I gotta get a little bit of that meatball. And a little bit of that carrot. Mmm. Mmm. Garbanzo. Garbanzo. Mm, all right. Feeding the whole family has never been easier with larger box sizes for more servings and more savings. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com and use code GMM10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. All right. Romance alert. Valentine's Day is this Sunday. And if you're looking to freshen up your traditional breakfast and bed pancakes and syrup, you come to the right place. Yes. We're gonna find out if syrup has a sticky and possibly superior substitute and you and your lover <laughs> can thank us later. It's time for Next Best Thing, Pancakes and Syrup Edition. To determine the next best thing on pancakes after or perhaps before syrup, we're gonna try a bunch of different liquidy toppings on our hot and fluffy short stacks. I'm talking sweet liquids, savory liquids, textured liquids, any unique textured. flavor that we thought may have a fighting chance of becoming the new syrup on the block. Now, first, we need to try a plate of classic pancakes Ooh. with maple syrup so we can remind our tongues just yes. how high this standard is that we're trying to achieve. Yeah. All right, now usually I do a little bit of butter, but listen, this is about the syrup. You, rem you remember pancake and syrup? Good. Oh, oh, fluffy. Oh man, that's some good syrup. Sweet, sticky. Mm hmm. And some good pancakes. A little vanilla in there. <laughs> but maybe we'll discover something better. We're thinking maple syrup is natural. It comes from trees. Yeah. So why not spin the pendulum the other way? I don't know. You don't spin a pendulum. You could if you if you move it hard enough. It spins. Something that comes from a can. Cheese spray. Oh, look at that. Our mythical very own, cheese spray. Our very own mythical cheese. Spray. Available at mythical.com. Not really, but uh, I don't know. Oh, Can you open it? It's not easy. Here, you want to? Should you shake it first? I believe you do. And I'm just gonna, you know, I don't want to get. Whoa, whoa! Oh. <laughs> just okay. That's, that's plenty. <laughs> I feel like it needed a sound effect. Yeah. Why is? Why am I not able to get it to come out? Like something about the way my wrist is angled. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a wrist problem. <laughs> What's his, wrong here? His wrist can't. Handle, look, can't look at, look at. Right. What am I doing? What's happening? Oh. Mm. Um. That's not a natural experience. No, there's something about that that it's it takes it away from it's a can experience. It makes it just like you're eating bread with some cheese on it. Yeah, I feel like I need, the thing about syrup is that there's a liquidy component to it. This is yeah. so solid and, you don't, and dry. And, you, and syrup doesn't mess with your wrist. Mm -hmm. Like you're able to just syrup just, just fine. It just flows out. You don't have to like push on a nozzle. Right. It's, it's not difficult and, like, to get, get syrup. carpal tunnel. But, you know, we can't have an empty podium. We have to put it there for now. So. Right now, the next best thing is cheese spray. Enjoy while you can. Now, I love sweet chili sauce because it's sweet and spicy just like me. <laughs> Let's see how my sauce tastes on these pancakes. <laughs> Gosh. Now, this, I mean, this is typically just like a dipping sauce, right? Well, I mean, I, I do a lot of stuff with this. It's some things I can't tell you about. Uh, but the thing I will tell you about is that I put this on wings. I'll deep fry some wings and put it on there. Oh yeah, that's, 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 that's a good move. It's one of the best sauces in the Sauce Hall of Fame. Um, very strong. 
Uh, I just don't like what it's doing to my breakfast. I think it maybe, can you think of it as like breakfast for dinner? No, uh -uh. I tried and it didn't happen. I, I, in fact, I think cheese is better. Oh, it is better. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, sweet chili sauce. Me and you will just have to I don't even, be what, alone together later. What would I drink with this? I don't even know. Isn't that, no, no. Water? <laughs> <laughs> what would I drink with this? That's a conundrum. <laughs> Italian food gets a lot of love at lunch and dinner time, uh, but it's often overlooked at breakfast time, uh, which hasn't sat right with me. So let's try some pesto on our cake cakes, as uh, my daughter Lily would call them as a youngster. Oh, she stopped that though. Yeah. She doesn't do that anymore yet. Um, okay, you might be thinking at this point, guys, I don't understand, like, there's a lot of really interesting things I put on my pancakes before and liked it, like chocolate syrup or strawberry syrup. I love or peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah, we already know that that tastes good. We've done that, you've done that. We're doing, we're trying to find a, something here. We're trying to discover something. And that's why Ling is putting pesto on his pancakes. <laughs> Because we're trying to discover something. You know, knows, something that man. might not be obvious. That's the name of this game, is to find something that was hiding Well, the name of the game is sight. Next Best Thing, which I would say is peanut butter. <laughs> right. So maybe next let's just change thing. it. Next Best Thing that you haven't already tried and yeah, probably yeah. won't try unless we yeah. tell you how awesome it is. That. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. There might be something here. I think. I think what I said doesn't help us when I'm like bringing Italian food into breakfast. I think we have to bring the cake cakes into dinner. This is like if you were traveling, you're in a different country and you're like, oh, before you eat your meal, do you know what they do in this country? Mm -hmm. They do something that's a lot like American pancakes with pesto on it. And at that point you're like, oh, this is so good. Like you can make yourself think this is really good. I mean, it's oily enough to still give scratch that syrupy itch. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna, like Link said, I'm not saying you're gonna wanna do this at breakfast time. Necessarily. But, but, like, in between lunch and dinner, a little linner action, I think this could work. Pesto. There it is. Next best thing, for now. So this is allowed? Just bean sauce? Listen, when I am it in is. a restaurant and I ask the waiter for some bean sauce, they just kind of look at me like I'm stupid and then my kids yell at me on the way home for quote, bringing shame to the family. <laughs> kind of like you want Parmesan with that? Yeah, but this it's is like, just bean sauce, It's not a new man. jacket. So you got baked beans and there's beans and then you got the sauce and it's just the sauce. And this has <laughs> promise because- Whoa, it, look, it's got a syrup consistency. It behaves. Whoa, oh, look, I got three surprise beans. Oh, there, I got I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 beans. You got surprise beans? I'll put a point in there. <laughs> 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 beans. Okay. And this is room temperature, <laughs> just so you know. Dink it. And sink it. <laughs> oh my. I mean, there is something to that. It's I'm, almost I'm like syrup. I'm trying to figure out if people would respond better if you didn't tell them ahead of time what it was. I think you gotta strain all the beans out just um, for your average user. It, it, yeah, and, but then do you keep it from them? I think you have to tell them. You let them finish. It's like when you're trying to get somebody to eat something really nasty, you let them enjoy it and then you're like, you know, that was spider meat. <laughs> I can't tell if you guys like it though. You, I know, you, neither can I. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, you said it's really terrible, but it's not really terrible. I didn't say it was terrible. I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's great. What are you talking about? I thought it was obvious that I thought it was great. I think it's better than pesto. It's really good. I mean, it's not as good as syrup, but it's the next best thing. <laughs> it's sweet, I like it. The last time we had mashed potatoes in an episode of Next Best Thing was when we were looking uh, for a substitute for gravy, and that got us thinking, could gravy become a substitute in this moment in time? Maybe. This is some dark gravy. This is dark gravy. It's got the right consistency. I feel like I'm in a dinner situation. What kind of dinner situation would you find yourself like, where they're putting gravy on pancakes? Like, like scraping the back of your pantry dinner type situation. The temperature is nice. I mean, the particular gravy that we've chosen Tastes like dog food. 
it's mythical gravy. Yeah, mythical gravy is not something we're going to be putting in the mythical store anytime soon. Like, what kind of gravy? Nicole, is that? did you taste this before serving it to us? <laughs> I plead the fifth, honestly. Yeah, it's savory it's, beef. Savory beef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not like I feel like you know what would be really good. You would think this was chocolate. Well, first of all, if you're in the South and you use uh, basically that white gravy that you put on a biscuit at yeah. breakfast. If that you would put, work. I mean, I'm sure people have already done that though, because if you put it on a biscuit, it might get on a pancake, just because it might be on your plate. I'm sure people have done that before. Yeah, if you go with the white gravy with the little bits of sausage and you get rid of this dog <laughs> crap, uh, it might work. But for now, we're gonna stick gonna with stop bean that. sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, spicy mayo is definitely a step up from regular mayo, but. Uh, Will it go on pancakes? Oh, we don't go on them. In a big clump? Yeah, I mean, I... It has a cheese sauce sort of a consistency. I, I, like, I like the look of it. You, <laughs> that's an interesting thing to say as you just... Mm. It's almost like we're trying to make a cake over here. I mean, look at that. Look how much stuff we put on there. A pancake is a, is a canvas for, I thought, any type of flavor. Of course, we're discovering that's not the case. Tangy, cakey. I'm gonna tell you right now, my initial thing is that it works. But what if you try to eat that whole thing? Pancakes are only beautiful if they come in a stack, but I can never eat more than one. So I end up eating like an eighth of a stack. Well, that's a personal that's, problem. That's why I don't eat <laughs> uh, pancakes a lot, because it's demoralizing how much I leave on my plate. Well, as a man who does finish his pancakes, I could say that I think that- You hit a wall? You've got to, the topping, in order to qualify as a potential pancake sub, uh, syrup substitute, it's gotta be something that you can enjoy the pancakes in the same manner. Th I put a lot of this on there, but like even with a little bit, eating that much mayonnaise. It burns. I like that. It kind of makes you think you have a medical condition. It burns now and it burns later. Are you pulling for spicy mayo to, to, to topple bean sauce? I don't absolutely hate it. If you're big into the spicy mayo, give it a shot, but no, I, I'm not gonna say it's gonna topple. topple yeah, I mean, it's bean sauce after all. <laughs> the time has come, the walrus said, to try mole on your pancakes. I got that right, didn't I? Oh, very right, yeah. Here it goes. Mole. I'm gonna go easy, because I, you know. I like to test the spreadability of it. I wanna really give this a chance, because what? I don't want people what the to heck think is, even is mole because mythical mole doesn't doesn't have any ingredients or barcodes or nothing because it's not sold. It's a it's a sauce that consists of both chilies and chocolate. Okay, give it a shot. Hmm. There's a darkness to mole. <laughs> yeah, a um, smokiness. It's, it's kind of like you're exploring a like a like a cavern where the Mayans used to hide or something. Okay. Do you judge a man by his mole? I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I don't like mole, so <laughs> I'm gonna leave this. Be honest. I'm uh, gonna leave this to you. Um, I ordered it once at a Mexican restaurant, and I'm like, you know what, that's the thing I'm never gonna order at a Mexican restaurant again. Yeah, the best thing on the menu. Yeah, right. Um, I gotta say, Mole works when you offset it with something savory, like chicken, cheese, a tortilla. That's when it works. Lots of cerveza. When you put this straight up on something that's kind of just a palette, a canvas. Okay, good, you don't like it either. Uh, I just don't think it works, which what we're saying is something that I didn't expect and I feel like you're gonna judge us for. Um, the next best thing to putting pancake syrup on your pancakes is putting bean sauce ne on them. Next time you crack open a can of baked beans, just Save crack it open sauce. a little bit, pour it over your cake cakes, and then you can have the beans separate for later in the day. Win-win. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Shagra, it is 2 a.m. in Tunisia, and it's time to spin the wheel mythicality. 2 a.m. in Tunisia. <laughs> I love it. 2 a.m. in Tunisia sounds like a movie. 2 a.m. Yeah. in Tunisia. <laughs> what happens at 2 a.m. in Tunisia? <laughs> happens twice. Only you can find out. Click the top link to watch us play a game for lovers and good mythical more. But we're gonna play it with each other. And to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. Protect yourself and others around you with our mythical neon face masks. Available now at mythical.com.